Hello, this is Eric Meeks, and today we're shooting a condo in the Sunflower Condominiums in Central Palm Springs in a fantastic location at the corner of Sunrise and Ramon. Um, these, when you see this here, I think you're going to like this. This is a fixer. It needs some work, although it's a mild fixer. It'll clean up great, as you'll see as we go through. I always start with a quick pan of the neighborhood. Everything's very nice around here. Now we are right off Ramon Road, so you're getting some road noise. That across the street, that is the Mizell Senior Center. And when it's, well, it's kind of hard to pick up, but over there, Sunrise Park. So there's like a kid's playground, the school library, the aquatic center, um, uh, Angel Stadium, okay? Every now and then they do have uh, summer baseball games over there. Across the street over here, there's Ralph's Supermarket, Starbucks, Carl's Jr. Over at this center, there is a, a, a dental and orthodontic center. There's a great little pizza and donuts and sandwich shop. It's called Aspen Mills. Fantastic. Uh, you can't see it, but over on the other side of the home right over here is a health food store called Nature's. Let's go inside and take a look. I've given you enough of the, uh, of the right out front. You're going to notice very quickly how the noise drops off. You do get a carport and a garage. Okay, so you have one of each here. You come walking in. This is a very mature property that very recently went through uh, a, a lot of exterior improvements and repaintings. Okay, already you probably noticed we don't hear cars. I've walked like 20 or 30 feet. Oh, there's Tracy. There she is. Okay, already I've only walked like 20, 30, 40 feet in. You do not hear them anymore. This is kind of your, uh, your, your court chamber. I mean, this is like your garden area. This is your back patio. Okay, right here. This is off the living room. Right now, these people have been living here for 15 years or more. So you're going to see they've really got a lot of stuff in there. And it makes it a little hard to see. But it is nice. When all that's cleaned out, it's going to need carpet and paint. But not a whole lot more. You do end up with a second floor patio off the master bedroom or I should say off the uh, off one of the bedrooms because it's there, there's two places where you could put a master bedroom let's go and take a look these are a bunch of potted plants out here that they've used to give themselves a greater degree of privacy let's go inside and take a look you have double doors okay let's take you right inside here we go up oh, you see me they have mirrors on the wall right Right as you come in. How y'all doing? Kicking my shoes off here. You got a staircase that goes up. Okay, that's to one of the bedrooms there. Um, inside here you got the kitchen. You may see some other people in the video. That's the uh, daughter and grandson of the gentleman who owns it. The living room here. Now they've got all their stuff here, so I'm going to ask you to look beyond it. And let's talk about a few things. You've got louvered plantation shutters all through the home. They're still in good shape. They could use a paint job, but they're very functional. Okay, you have good space in here. Right now, you see their stuff, but let's look at something that stays. The fireplace. Nice slump stone fireplace. Very Palm Springs. You've got doors over here that could be opened up if you want to be more of a den. Right now, it's being used as a bedroom. But you do have access into that room without doing anything major. Uh, they've got a ceiling fan in place here. You may want to modernize and update that or you could just keep it there we've got behind me a wet bar area okay so i don't know if you if that's something that you would enjoy or not but if you did it's already installed if not it could be a closet space or a computer uh, area or something like that you have high ceilings in this room okay i'm probably going up to a very high uh, top of uh I don't know, 16, 20 feet, something like that. I mean, it's almost two-story height up there because we do have a, a second floor uh, loft area, okay, that's up there. So somebody who knows what they're doing, um, and I've heard there's somebody in interior design in the family, they could really do a lot with this and make it a very open, very fun layout, okay, and very fresh. Let's go to the next room, okay. You know, I mean, it does need stuff. If you just look here along the, 
This wall has not been painted in a long time. It looks like it has uh, tape removed on there. It needs a paint job. But paint job and carpet or paint job and flooring would go a long way. This is a bedroom or it could be a den. Again, the high ceiling continuing in here. This one not as high, but we're probably somewhere around uh, 12 to 14 feet in height. You've got a good sized closet in here that's probably about 10 feet of closet space. And this overall room is probably somewhere around 14 or 15 feet squared. You can see they've got plenty of room for a queen size bed and a children's crib area. And extra room beyond that. You have a nice window that goes out. Okay, looking on to that courtyard area. So it could be a, uh, a great place to either have an office or a den or an additional bedroom if you need it. Maybe something with a fold out couch. So it can be a little bit of both. Your choice. The bathroom in here. You have a, a traditional shower, okay, that's in here. This is what you've got to work with already. <laughs> um, might need some freshening up. It doesn't look like it's in use right now, but it, for all I know it does work. It's just being used for more storage area. The toilet, okay, that's in here. You've got the probably original um, sink and countertop and stuff, although that light is an upgrade. That doesn't look original. And a vanity mirror here. There I am again. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Tile throughout this part of the house. Okay. The mirrored closet doors here, just for like a coat closet area. And then over in this part of the house, we have the, uh, this would be the master bedroom. Okay. On our left, there's just a storage area here. To our right, as we go in, would be the bathroom. It's all mirrored. Okay. You have a large closet here. Again, about 8 to 10 feet of closet. Okay, with a double vanity sink. Okay, probably 10 feet of mirror there again. I, here, oh, hey, how you doing? Okay, and then the uh, toilet area with a separate door and the shower here, and it's a tub and shower combination. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. So uh, you do get some privacy in the shower or in the toilet. Somebody else could still be using the vanity area. And behind us right there. I know that's a little confusing with the mirrors and maybe on both ends, but so you end up with two closet areas, okay, in the uh, bathroom area. So you have two sections where you've got about a seven foot section of closet and then about an eight foot section of closet. Okay. Um, in the master bedroom, the high ceilings continue again. Now these walls are textured. Um, that was something that once upon a time was very unique, okay, and uh, somebody paid extra for that. Freshly painted up, it would just give it a, a very unique feel here. Now, there is, kind of hard to show this on camera, but popcorn ceilings. So you can either keep those or have them scraped off and put in uh, plain. There is a little bit of touch-up work right there that's going to need to be done on it one way or the other, so you may go ahead and just scrape it down. But... Um, a large room, you do have a step, can I get that to show up, there we go, as the camera focuses, you do have a step into the master bedroom area, which you may keep or you could take out, um, and this here, now we're going to touch on into what was at one time a uh, patio area, but now in here, excuse me for a second, but that's uh, the gentleman's daughter here who owns it, and let's see if I can back up just a little bit to get that, that doorway right there actually goes to what has now been turned into interior space with the skylight. There we go. Okay. The skylight, it's showing somewhere. I don't know if it leaks or not. I don't see any sign of that. Uh, it does bring a lot of light into this area. Right now they've got a fan, which I'm sure during the summertime they keep running all the time because in the hottest of times it's got to add a little bit of heat to the area. But in the winter, it's probably pretty pleasant in here and you get the light from it. In this room, you have a door, as you can see the handle here, that takes you out to the parking area. So if you want to have direct access into here from the, uh, from the carport and from the uh, uh, parking garage. Oh, my phone. One sec. There we go. Now, in the kitchen, decent-sized kitchen, probably about 10 or 12 feet square, something like that include the cabinets in here. This is all original cabinetry. It looks like it's got uh, Formica counters. I think so, yes. 
on there. You may put a new kitchen in. I mean, you could repaint it and put new knobs and such, but uh, probably a new kitchen. If you're going to go ahead and fix up the rest of the place, you'll probably do it to here too. It's two ovens, by the way. Is it two ovens? Two ovens, yeah. Oh, you're right. There you go. Two ovens. So on the existing appliance here, this here is a double oven with uh, electric burners and stove. Um, plenty of room for a larger size fridge. You can see that's a double door one with the water on it and uh, lots of cabinet space. So I mean this could be um, duplicated or cleaned up whatever that you care to do with it. And um, we got one more area to go take a look at. We're going to go upstairs. Okay. Now this is a room that you may not use all the time. This may become a guest room or this could become a private area. Okay, the stairs are a little start and steep coming up. Um, I can feel a little bit of a rise in temperature right now, but this is good usable space. Okay, there is again another closet here with storage space up top here. You've got large high windows and ceiling. That whole theme has continued through with this. Right now they've got a, a wall unit air conditioner up here. Okay, to uh, help air condition in the spot. That's a, I mean, the windows in here could give it a very open feeling. Looking over into the living room again, okay, so you do have that openness continuing with it. And it has its own bathroom up here. So this is why I really talk about it being good, usable space. Now I forgot to turn on the lights up here, so let's see if I can find a light switch. There you go, there's one. You may want to upgrade the uh, lights or something. I can hear the fan working on it. You have a uh, tub and shower combination. A toilet, okay. A single vanity, okay. Mirrors there. The high ceiling continuing even in this part of it. Another window, okay, going out here. Looking out at that courtyard, its camera will have to adjust. There you go. Right, right now, the windows and everything are closed because we're in summer. And people who live here year round, during the summertime, they darken it, it helps it keep cool, helps the air conditioning function better. In the winter time, all these windows would be open. We're going to step out now onto the patio. Just off this loft bedroom, there's probably about 15 feet of balcony space. Uh, railing along here it's maybe about three or four feet wide and you're looking back out at the uh, Ralph Center over there where Starbucks is in the intersection or if these trees were just trimmed a little bit you would increase your mountain views which you may be able to pick up as I zoom in it's kind of a uh, foggy day here we're kind of hazy and a little bit of humidity going on so the uh, sky is hazy to be sure but from here you're literally, other than, I mean, the city view, you're looking at palm trees and mountain. You, you probably want to leave that tree a little bit just to help the shade in the uh, afternoon out here on the patio. But it's actually, uh, it's a unique space for here in the desert. There's not a lot of second floor patios that are going to be on properties that we show you. And so there you have it. Um, the pools were not very far away. If you enjoy having things to walk to, like uh, some restaurants and coffee shops, the supermarket, the park, the library, um, those types of things. Uh, downtown is, as you can see, these people here riding their bikes. Downtown Palm Springs is only one mile away, giving you a, a whole slew of shops and things to do. So, um, oh, and the senior center. I'm not sure if you guys are the right age to use that or not. But I'll tell you, that is a very active senior center with a ton going on. Anyways, this is it. My name is Eric Meeks. And thank you very much. I'm looking for something here to end the uh, thing on. Let's end on the fireplace. There you go. This is Eric Meeks. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.